Hello everyone, it is ball joint time. I'm gonna be using two different ball joint sets. The one on the left is a high pressure tool and the one on the right is your standard C frame press ball joint set. There's the upper ball joint and this is an aftermarket Cognito control arm. That's the part number for it. This uh, vehicle has been lifted and then the lower ball joint is a standard ball joint, OEM ball joint sourced from O'Reilly's. The vehicle I'm working on is a lifted 22 GMC Sierra 2500 HD with 43,000 miles on it. Got to remove the knuckle to gain access. Straightforward, don't need any special tools to do the knuckle. And you can leave the axle in it. We're going to scrape the rust on this Cognito control arm. Clean that up because there is a C clip underneath there. And there is a um, aluminum cap with an O-ring that you pry off to expose the uh, C-clip so you can press it out. It will press out through the top. So we'll get everything cleaned out and pull this clip out. Just grab a pick and a screwdriver and pry it out of there. You can see that ball joint is completely hammered. The boot was ripped out of it. Yeah, I'm going to use the C frame style to remove this. They're not in with a, a large amount of force. The reason I'm using two sets is the lower ball joints on these GMs. They're they've got like um. It's like a crimp swedged section on the top of the ball joint holding it into the control arm and they take a ton of force to get out. The upper ball joint came out really easy. And this C-frame style, it's a lot easier to use and hold up in there and it's lighter. We'll clean this up real good. Put a small amount of grease in there. Stick the new ball joint in. Grab the cups you need out of the set. Rig it up all in there. Then press this bad boy back in. This one pressed in really easy, easy. And install the, the new snap ring. Put some silk light in the the groove for the O-ring. And these Cognito control arms, I think they've got 
bearings in it versus bushings. So they move, move up and down freely. I'm gonna use some large pliers and press that upper cap back in there. So the upper ball joint's done. And here's this high pressure version. It's really heavy, but um, some of these ball joints, they are, they take a ton of force to get them out. But what this tool does is it allows you to get two to one leverage versus that C-frame press style. You don't need to grind the uh, the swedging ears on the top of this ball joint. It will just snap those right out. It'll take it out like it's nothing. So once it looks like we got it lined up, we're gonna uh, start hammering on it. And boom, there it pop. Once you get it to pop. And you can press it out. Yeah, that handled that ball joint like it was nothing. But this tool is kind of a pain to press ball joints back in, to hold it and to get it started straight. So on this lower control arm, we'll put a small amount of grease on it. And then there is a grease cirque on these, so I'm gonna make a mark. These grease cirques, you want them to the rear of the vehicle and slightly in. That way you don't need to turn the, the tires to uh, grease them. That's if people do grease them. These probably weren't they didn't look like they were anyway, and worn out at uh, a little over 40,000 miles. So we'll get our paint marks lined up, and we're gonna use the standard C-frame to, to take this in, because it's really difficult, like I said, to get it, get everything lined up and held. If you got two people, it's a lot easier. But what this will do is it'll want to want to when you start pressing it in, it'll want to walk off to one side. So you got to kind of work it in there a little bit, and then spin the clamp and walk it over to the. Try to walk it straight. And just keep working it. Just keep running this frame around and then once it once you get it to bite and start straight then you can press it in that's what I'm doing here it's kind of hard to see in the video but it wants to walk off to one side There, it looks like I've got it straight and started. And press this thing back in. They go in a lot easier than they come out on the lowers. I'm not even sure if the uppers are even replaceable now. It's been a while since I've done stock uppers on a GM. So we've got this pressed in. Nothing's damaged. The boot hasn't been touched. Yeah, both these sets work really nice. And then the snap ring, the ears are a little too large to go down in the groove. I'm just gonna grind a little bit off the edges.
so it'll seat down in that in that uh, channel in the control arm the snap ring on the lower ball joints really doesn't do anything anyway all your force is is up so I mean even if you didn't put a snap ring in it I don't think that ball joint would ever go anywhere and then install the grease circ these ball joints are done just reassemble it grease it shouldn't even have to line it all right there you go thanks for watching everyone we'll see you in the next video